Hello everyone, this is Gary D. Tonincourt from MoreThanASnapshot.com. Today I wanted to talk to you about Lightroom Mobile. The way you can get your images onto Lightroom Mobile is simply by logging into the uh, Creative Cloud Lightroom Mobile service and then creating collections of the photos that you want to sync with mobile. Once the photos are synced, you can access the photos and even edit the photos through a variety of devices. Things like an iPhone, an iPad, Android phones, uh, even Apple TV. So let's dive into how you can set this up so you can sync your photos with uh, Lightroom Mobile. All right, so the first thing is when you come up to the identity plate up at the top of the screen here, I happen to have customized mine at some point. I put my logo up here, but yours may just say Lightroom. There's a little arrow here. You click that little arrow and you'll see that there are things here that can sync. So where it says sync with Lightroom Mobile, yours may say log in if you've never done this before. So you need to log in with your Lightroom CC credentials. Once you do that, it will show that sync is uh, available. And when you see the little pause thing on, uh, that means if you click it, it would pause the syncing. So right now mine is, is set up to sync, so mine should be ready to go. Next, I'm going to find a series of photos, and I'm going to start by selecting the photos that I want to sync. I don't necessarily have to sync all of them, although I could. So I'm going to just click on a bunch of photos that I think I would like to sync. And I'll just quickly go through and pick some. And I'll take that one. Okay, so now I have selected some photos. I'm going to come down to where my collections are located. Okay, so right here I have collections. I'm going to create a collection. And I'm going to call this Trolley Museum. And I may even put 2016. That's when I went. Uh, you can um, pick a, a sub-collection. I don't need to do that. Include selected photo. Sure, since I've already selected my photos, I'm just going to check that. I could make virtual copies. I don't think I need to do that. Sync with Lightroom Mobile. Yes, I do want it to sync with Lightroom Mobile. So I'm just going to hit create. Okay, here it has made a folder. And you can see there's like a double-headed arrow next to it. So that means that this folder can be synced or is syncing with Lightroom Mobile. All right, so to check on the progress of your sync, you just click on the identity plate, and if it no longer says that it's syncing any photos, that it's probably done. So then to see your photos online, you can simply right-click on the folder that you've synced, come down to Lightroom Mobile Links, and then click View on the Web. When you do that, it will, it will open up uh, Lightroom on the Web, and you can see here, Trolley Museum 2016 is the folder that I synced. So it's pretty simple and straightforward to do. And now I have access to these photos on my phone, on my laptop, you know, wherever it might be. The one thing to keep in mind that I've noticed, it's a little bit of a problem. If you put photos on your desktop computer and you also put unique photos on your laptop computer, the thing you have to remember is you can only sync one catalog. So if you're going to sync, it's always got to come from whatever your primary computer is. So I sync from my main desktop. <clears throat> Those photos will be synced to my laptop, but I cannot then go in and sync my laptop photos in there with these desktop photos. It'll actually overwrite the other ones and you're basically only going to get one set of photos in there so decide where you're going to do your syncing from whatever your main computer is and then once they're synced you will have access to those photos from the web from your phone from your tablet wherever it may be and you can edit them and you can share them 
and it's a pretty useful tool. So I suggest you give that a try. All right, this has been Garrity Tonicourt for more than a snapshot.com.